This is Brian from Fool for Peppers. I want to give you a quick review of uh, a pressure pot. Um, this is one I just recently built. Had many questions about whether I use pressure when, I, when I'm casting. I personally do. Doesn't necessarily mean that you always have to use pressure. You can still get good blanks. Uh, there is a chance though that you, you could have some uh, air bubbles that are trapped uh, in the resin and then you would just have to deal with those when you're turning them. Uh, filling them with CA is a, an acceptable option. Okay, um, as you notice uh, there's a, a $109.99 price tag on the, uh, the pressure pot. I was able to pick this one up at a, a Sear Salvage uh, warehouse. For $20, uh, whether it worked correctly to be a paint tank, which what 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 most pressure pots are, um, this one is rated a maximum pressure of 80 psi, but the working pressure is 20 to 50 psi. Um, I generally pressurize mine at uh, 50 to 60 psi, so with this one, I'll probably not exceed 50 psi. I have another tank that, that has a 110 maximum PSI and I think the working rating up to it is, is 70 PSI. Okay, let's review the, the top of the tank. Um, as you can see, there's a regulator and a valve that all came with the tank. I put a uh, natural gas uh, on and off valve to shut on and off the, uh, the air. I probably could have used the uh, uh, the regulator there but it's just as easy for me to just turn it on and turn it off and shut it off put a, uh, a connector for an air hose uh, had another inlet here that uh, I just plugged off uh, you probably could I didn't have one with it but there's probably a you could put a pop-off valve there uh, I don't run my pressure high enough that I really don't think I have to worry about it. I'm still very careful um, you know these uh, the, these tanks are what I call a mini bomb. I mean, they're they're uh, they they can blow up. At the bottom, see this. Uh, most of the tops will have a, a hose that protrudes from the bottom. I heated it up and just unthreaded it from the bottom. And then where the air comes in, I put a 90 degree angle or a 90 degree elbow on it to divert the air from uh, splattering uh, my resin uh, when I turn the air on. Okay, what do we do now? Well, you can make this out of wood, but uh, I made it out of acrylic, uh, some acrylic sheets that I had. Um, it's just a little tray that uh, that my tubes, when I cast, will sit down in this. Okay, I generally do three or six at a time and put them in the pressure pot. So all I do is drop this in there. And put the top on. Let me rotate it around here where I can see it. And tighten down the toggle screws. Okay. Let's tighten these down a little bit snug. And you're ready to put air in it. We uh, connect the air hose. In this case, I've got it turned off. And if you can see the 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 scale, the red is in pounds per square inch. I'm just going to lightly turn it on. And um, I went ahead and turned the video off. Uh, I've got a very small. Uh, air tank so it kicks on and runs it up in this case i've got this one setting uh, about 50 psi which is uh, great to, to cast with let it set for you know an hour two hours um, what you're looking for is the the resin to become solid and uh, you're ready to go